Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome to a brand new series. This is Super Hostile, The Spellbound Caves 2 by Vex. Um, yeah, welcome to Super Hostile, Spellbound Caves 2. Now this is the sequel to a map that I played quite a while ago. I've actually played Spellbound Caves a few times and well, this might look a little bit different. Um, this is modded. Uh, so this is modded Super Hostile, which is the new type of stuff that we're getting from the Super Hostile series. There is like three maps currently. Uh, and this is the one I chose to play. And so we're going to get into this here in just a moment. But uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Super Hostile series, they are CTMs, much like the series we just finished, uh, Archangel's Fall. Um, basically, we are going to be going out, we're going to be exploring dungeons and whatnot, and finding wool. Uh, and once we find said wool, um, we will find a monument and complete it. Hence, CTM, complete the monument. Um, but this one is going to have a lot of different things. As you can probably notice from my hotbar, uh, there is a heat meter as well as um, a water meter, which are things we had to deal with in isolation, but that was a little bit different. And yeah, just in general, we're going to be going through a lot of modded stuff. Now, I've not played this map. Um, a lot of the Super Hostile stuff I have in the past. Uh, this one I've not. I, I've not even seen, I don't even know for sure what all is in the mod pack. Um, but I know it's kind of like the RL Craft mod pack that was super popular for a while. Uh, Vex played that and I think he really liked a lot of aspects of it. But um, we'll see what we get into and we'll see how it turns out. So, thank you for Patreons, yep, 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 uh, Discord, server stuff. Um, so, map rules. Find and complete the Victory Monument. Use at least easy, never peaceful. I am on normal. Uh, I always play on normal. Uh, stay out of Nat Gen until you complete the monument. Okay. Um, wool for the Victory Monument is from Fleecy Boxes, which we'll see. Uh, fleecy Boxes are brick slash iron shrines inside dungeons. If you lose the special wool from the Fleecy Box, then game over. Um, assist mode. So assist mode level one, two, and three. Okay, we're not gonna do anything with this, but assist mode. Let's see what what it is. Um, so super hostile is, as the name might imply, meant to be difficult and challenging. However, I understand that some players may have accessibility needs, and there's assist mode belts that are meant to help with that. Uh, level 1 might be a good choice for a friend or partner with limited or no prior gaming experience. And level 2 and 3 might be useful for a player with notable or severe impairments, respectively. It is up to you to determine if you need to make use of the accessibility feature. Have fun and good luck. Um, so yes, that is something that we don't need. But we do need to start looking at our quest book. Uh, there are some other hint things. Uh, we also have um, waypoints, which is kind of cool. Uh, hint. Press tilde to carefully review and carefully review starting gear quest. Be sure to get a backpack and starting food and weapons. Um, I don't even know what's getting her over here. What are you? Uh, Satyrus. Okay, and you're probably a... Um, I don't even know where you went. Um, you're some sort of centaur. Alright, is there anything else? Uh, in co-op, remember to set, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that doesn't matter to us. We're playing by ourselves. All right, let's open the quest book and see what we have. Uh, so general stuff. Um, and this is just kind of tutorials of the mod pack. Uh, so tabs left, yep, yep, yep. I know a lot of that. Uh, let's see, use the tabs on the left to access both tutorial quests. There's a lot of weird things going on around us. Um, gameplay quests, these will teach you about everything you need to know. Use the mouse wheel to scroll. This display down to keep reading, even if you want to learn at your own pace. Um, very important things. You need to drink to stay alive. Shift click from water sources uh, to drink from that. Clean water is better than not. Uh, punch or chop the base of trees from dynamic trees to chop them down. Takes longer, but you chop the entire tree. Um, we can also spin XP uh, for skills. That, like I said, it's very similar to RL Craft, which I played a little bit on my own, but I never did a series or anything on that. But spin your XP. Uh, Minecraft recipe helper, green book button in your inventory will cover up uh, the reskillable. 
uh, tab where you spend XP levels. That's unfortunate. If you open, okay, yeah. So um, any other information can be learned at your own pace. I suggest hunting at some animals for food. Get a tree or two and make yourself a safe house or a cave base with a water block to drink from before night falls. Uh, press escape twice. Yep, yep, yep. Um, the objective for this quest trigger when you look at the corresponding blocks. It's designed to pop up a few times to ensure brand new players don't miss it. Oh, so we just have to look at those, I guess. Okay. Um, and then video RAM settings. Um, that is all technical stuff. Doesn't matter too much. So general mod pack stuff. Yeah, you don't need to use. Don't need to use the quest book. It's all. Um, Quest teams and you, quest in the uh, feed the beast quest mod, which is what this is. Uh, change teams. We're not doing anything with teams. Um, you can set your quest by making a new team, but abusing this to get early rewards over and over is unsporting. Yeah, that's usually kind of cheaty. Um, I don't plan on cheating unless it's necessary. There is. Why are you all hurting yourselves? Um, there is a lot of stuff to go through. I do apologize. This is going to be very info dumpy. Um, let's just kind of updating. Yeah, I don't update mod packs. Um, all the guidebooks. We'll wait on that. Um, I know JEI. Uh, I don't update utilities. Uh, yeah, there's check. Oh, chunk loading feature is disabled. Um, scaling health. Uh, learn about getting and losing max HP. Okay, we're, we're gonna just kind of walk on. Um, I might read those later. Starting gear and emergency supplies. Um, in this mod pack, when you die, you keep your backpack, your equipped bobbles, and the item in your hand, and any other items with the soul binding enchanting. Uh, you drop your main inventory armor and other items in your hotbar. Um, so put things in backpack. Uh, backpack button is B. Uh, might change that. Uh, this quest rewards you with a free starting backpack and some data to customize it. There are many new types of items in the mod pack, so additional storage space is fair. Um, be sure to equip it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, mod pack uses custom version of the wearable backpack. Okay, don't care too much. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead, and I think I'm going to go with a purple backpack we can get the other dies in just a little bit but we're gonna make a purple backpack and that goes on our bobbles i believe um shift and break to wear so it should be honest now um yeah it appears to be and then shift b to place it back down okay fair enough um, I guess we'll take all the, the dies. All right, so starting Atlas, starting supplies. Let's get some starting supplies. So canteen is full of dirty water. Craft it with a filter to purify it. Just kind of showing you how to do this type of thing, the, this type of stuff. Um, things is what I tried to say. Drinking dirty water is very similar to, uh, mechanically to eating rotten flesh. Don't do it if you don't have to. Uh, if you stay out of combat for long enough, you get extra food-based health regeneration. If you have lots of health, this means you do not have to wait around forever for normal Minecraft. Okay, yeah. All right, so we'll get some bread, and we have canteen. We craft it with um, filter, and I think that is, yeah, purified. Perfect. Let's get some stuff kind of organized. And it's almost night, so we're gonna sleep um, since we're here. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on to doing stuff. Um, okay, if we spawn in cold or dark areas, um, custom world with no water. Uh, I believe these quests for the most part are um, a hundred percent, like you, you, this mod pack is made so that you can just jump into a world and play it. Um, that being said, hello, Centaur, there's so much stuff. Um, that being said, obviously we're playing a custom map that is, uh, 
you know, a dungeony map. So this large area is called Fire Fields. There are many areas, sub areas, and dungeons in this map. Yeah, th there's going to be a lot of information. So, um, this is an urn from Ancient Warfare. Smash them. Oof. There's so much stuff in that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in that. Uh, let's get the stone pickaxe. We have an axe. Um, this is a vase or pot from Rustic. It's basically a chest. Hey, a wooden club. Um, but as I was saying, uh, the quest book, I believe, uh, if you wanted to play this mod pack just without the, uh, the dungeon-y maps, the super hostile maps, you could. And so the, the, uh, the quest book is a lot of teaching you how to play this mod pack so that you can go start a new world and do whatever you want. Um, is this your first super hostile? Welcome either way. This map is easier than usual, so new players have a chance to get used to things, both in the map and the mod pack. Which is why... Um, which is why I um, chose this one. So we can't right click, we have to empty hand. I said easier, not easy. Yeah, I kind of expected something. I wasn't expecting command block magic, but does that, hmm. Well, it's my chest now. Um, I was wondering if it would spawn another one, but yeah. That is typical, super hostile. Uh, world spawn, practice range, please, please. Cave of Patrons, River's End Cave, Victory Monument. All right, and then what do we have over here? The Thirsty Goblin Inn and Hot Spring, Riley River Canyon. All right, so... What are you? Tavern Guards. All right, so it seems like this area is going to be nice and easy. Um, for the tutorial, what other blocks do we need to look at? We need to look at sand and stone. All right, there is a lot of tavern people. Uh, can I, like, no, nah, can't right click on them and, like, talk to them or anything like that? Open, close. Open, close what? Okay. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, what mod is that? I don't have a... I don't have a... The, the thing that tells me what things are. So... I don't know. Um, but that's really cool. Alright. Small uh, Tefling Innkeeper. In rooms are free to adventurers. Please help keep our tavern safe, clean, and unexploded. Yes. Um... Feel free, uh, free for public use. Please restock fuel and be a bro. Uh, cool. So if we need to smelt anything, um, there's cake. We can eat cake. Um, press that and check skill progressions on magic. Skill progressions. Reskillable stuff. Um, okay, so there is a lot of stuff that we're going to have to get into and kind of learn. Um, bridge mechanism. I kind of want to see... Hello, adventure. I left this stuff more visible than usual. Free, feel, feel free to look at the design for your own base. Um, I just wish I knew what the stuff was. But really cool. Seems pretty simple. It's It's got to be those iron blocks that do it, but... Uh, let's see what else we got here. There are Elon Hus, the human necromancer. Um, Diagram, this, ooh, he has trades. Okay, cool. Um, there, there's a lot of, a lot of people. Uh, but, this seems like a fairly basic area we can come to if need be. Um, hot springs, probably make us feel better uh can we drink don't drink that water there is a golden carrot loofahs now 16 times the spa towels um we'll take some potions we need to get kind of set up uh and i think i think what we want i will say that is really annoying we can't use this item um, because we don't have the skills. Uh, so let's 
take a look at the skill progression. Skill you need farming, attack, mining. Okay, so if we get mining levels, so reskillable. Um, reskillable mod is a very important part of the core gameplay of this mod pack. Different items take different skills and skill levels to use. Uh, you can access it by using the tab found on your main inventory to the left. Uh, so this. And basically, we have skill points that we can use. And we will need to put levels in um, once we get experience levels. So some things are going to be very not useful to us. Um, oh, this is a rare quality. So, oh, the, the pickaxes are different. Um, but can we use this one? Yes, we can. Uh, so a stone pickaxe has mining three. A wooden pickaxe has nothing. Okay, so we can use wooden pickaxes right now. Anyways, um, <laughs> gosh, this is so much information. Uh, can we talk to you? We can. You will trade copper nuggets for food. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat a little bit. Drink some water. And let's head to the, uh, so this goes through here, and then there's more stuff over yonder. Uh, looks like there's a cave over there. Um, I'm going to assume the giant mountains means don't go anywhere, like, past those. Um, there's probably nothing in them anyways. But uh, what we're probably going to want to do, that is wrong backpack. <laughs> I, I constantly want to, um, I use the same hotkeys for a lot of things, and so I'm constantly trying to hit those same hotkeys regardless of what I'm playing, um, and that doesn't work. It does not work at all. Uh, let's just put most everything in here um, that we're not currently using. Uh, so I want to, uh, one of my favorite hotkeys nowadays for like backpacks, opening backpacks up is to... Um, hit shift inventory and that doesn't work so unfortunate all right so I want to find the victory monument so this is the practice range um, these are ancient vases as of my packs uh, spawn or self destruct after 30 of their exact numbers okay so there's only certain things um, break spawners ASP for XP and special drops. Um, yep, yep, yep. What does this say? Or you can intentionally pick a fight and farm swarms of enemies. Yes. As spawn in these eyes, the spawner rate increases the more you kill, the faster they spawn. Be careful. Good to know. Um, there is a pickaxe here. Uh, what else do we have? Four rules. Muzzle trigger loaded backstop. Uh, muzzle. Do not point a weapon at something you don't. Uh, that you will not kill. Uh, trigger, keep figure off the mouse button until ready to fire. Loaded, treat weapon as if loaded at all times. Backstop, be aware of your target and what is behind it. That is general gun safety, for the record. Um, and there is a lot of different things here. Uh, cool. So, looks like these are targets 10 blocks away, 20 blocks away. That looks like something, but cannon, hold on. There is a backpack here with a bunch of cannonballs. Um... I don't know how to use that, so we're going to ignore that for right now. Um, but that's kind of cool. I want to find the Victory Monument. Let's keep looking. Um, because if we can find the Victory Monument, we can put down a little bit of a base. Uh, and we can come back here later for um, to mess around with some of the other stuff that's here in the spawn area. Um, but it is probably getting close to night. So this looks like a cave. Ow. 
You are Minotaurus. All right, that's unfortunate. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is a sleeping bag. We're going to take the sleeping bag because it's going to be night soon. And we're going to run back over there. And I don't know why Minotaurus was being mean to me. Um, but it is night. We should probably sleep. And that is very weird. Um, there are a lot of Minotaurs here. And... I'm gonna guess that is... All right, that is probably first place to go. Um, where's our stuff? I don't, I don't think we would just lose it, right? All right, we can maybe take this person on with a club there's also a harpy which is not good um please stop following me but i don't i don't know where our stuff is if our stuff is even over there uh, I don't know if there is a grave or not. All right, there we go. Um, however, we're not doing too well. Um, that is wrong buttons. Uh, we can get some food. We have some apples. But we are very thirsty. Um, I guess... I keep I keep doing that. I'm gonna have to switch the backpack button to what I normally use. Uh, let's go back over here and let's see two things. So one, we can grab some water. Uh, we do need to grab a filter and let's get some water. All right, um, and then I'm going to put all of this stuff in here. Uh, we don't need the quest book, but let's look real quickly. Oh, cool, we'll get some more charcoal filters. That's actually really nice. Um, there is a ton of weaponry we can use. Um, most of it doesn't look very, like, strong uh, at this point. Starting tools, that would be nice. Um, this stuff won't last long, but maybe we'll get lucky when you claim it. You get ro uh, roll good quality. It gives some HP, maybe. maybe uh, they're probably too low quality to even put it into a reforging station. Uh, dual ingredient armors from the super hostile armor mod. I ruined, like, copper, steel, and amethyst. Repair with either ingredients used to make them or... Sometimes even the nugget form that ingot. Okay. So we're going to uncommon, epic, and uncommon. Not bad. All right. Let's get back over there and see if we can find. Um, so clearly, clearly, uh, that area over there is where um, things are going to start spawning. And mother spider with baby spiders. I don't like that. Where did I die? Oh, right in here. Here is some of my stuff. All right, let's smack the baby spiders. And... 
Are they gonna pop out more? Nope. Just, there we go. All right. Um, what else did I have on me uh, that would be important? Uh, one thing I dislike about so much ground cover is it's hard to find stuff. But it would appear that if there was anything else, it's probably gone by now. Uh, and I don't think I want to go over that direction. So let's head this way. There is a creeper standing right there. And there is some stuff right here. What does this say? Uh, Andersite, granite, uh, and crafting. Okay, they all craft in cobblestone in this map. Good to know. So, can we find the victory monument? That is the question. Um, this looks relatively safe. Maybe. Flower field, rivers and cave. No, this is not going to be safe at all. All right. Um, <laughs> well, we got our bread back. That is nice. Um, which wooden club is good? I think the one we're currently using. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out where stuff is uh, and kind of, you know, maybe going over that direction. Let's see what's over there. It should have a sign before we get to anything major. Um, I'm just hoping that it's not gonna be too horrible, uh, like too much horrible stuff around it that it's gonna chase me and whatnot. So, there is a door here. It is so dark. This must be the Cave of Patrons. Um, yep. Which, there you go. Uh, there is all the people. Top patrons as of map creation. There is a sign on the side. I can't read it, <laughs> but okay, so that is that, kind of cool, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and shut that back up, um, so I guess for now, let's head back, um, or I rather, I'm going to head back to the uh, tavern, I guess, and kind of figure out what I am going to do, um, because... Yeah, there is a lot of stuff to learn in this mod pack, and it's a little overwhelming, not, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take some time uh, and read through all of the various things, see if I can't figure out, um, the Victory Monument is probably through the River's End. Uh, we'll see. Uh, River's End Cave. Uh, that is the only thing else that's that direction. Uh, and then Riley River Canyon is in the opposite, so. Uh, we might want to look at some of that kind of stuff and figure out what we're doing. But I think for now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a room in the inn and set that up as our base. Um, this area has a lot of good things. We can we can cool off in the hot springs, which I think the other side is probably the same. Um, hint, you can right-click some NPCs to trade with them. Um, Azuna, the half-elven fighter. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, we can get potions and golden apples and all that kind of fun stuff and kind of see what we can, we can get into. So, uh, I think we'll just take this room right here. We'll set our spawn and we'll use this to kind of collect our thoughts and then we'll go out for adventures. So, this map is going to take some getting used to, um, the mod pack in general, just trying to figure everything out. And there is a lot of things, um, but we do have five levels. We can start getting some progression, um, but I'm not going to worry about that today. So that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is so much to learn, 
and we got to get kind of we got to get stronger so that's that's the plan um start getting better gear and just exploring a little bit so um, we'll figure things out and see what we can get into so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one bye